Hey everybody, how's it going? Servant of my K coming to you live. Uh, rank season is on its way. That's right, rank season is coming up. And now a lot of people have come into the channel, boom, twitch.tv slash Servant of my K, and they've asked and they said, hey, what's going to be the best plays for ranked? So this is what this guide is going to be, a guide to this season. Coming up right now. All right, so let's let's jump off into uh, tier eight. All right, so everybody knows that the rank rank season's coming up. It's starting off at rank tier eight from twenty three to eleven. Once you hit rank number ten, then you go from rank ten to number two as tier ten. There you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you probably the most played most played ships that are going to be that you're going to see in tier eight and then tier ten. Uh, tier, tier 8, we just had a season in December, uh, so it's going to be exactly the same, if you guys can remember that. If you guys, this is your first rank season, it's going to go a little something like this. The most played battleships, right here. The most played battleships are going to be the North Carolina, the Alabama, and the Amagi. Those are probably the three of the best. Now, they all are viable. They all do just the same stuff. But uh, we're talking about damage output versus tankiness. It's going to be North Carolina, Bama, and the Amagi. Those are going to be your top three picks. Uh, their cruiser, doesn't matter. Any any one of their cruisers is going to be fine. I saw a large smattering of everything. So any cruiser that you want to play will be fine. Now, as for destroyers, this is where it gets a little bit different. The destroyers at tier 8 are very, very strong, and they're a very, very wide range of things that you can do. Uh, the number one most played is going to be the Loyang. The Loyang has got the 5.4 kilometer uh, hydro, and it just out hydros everything. So basically, you're going to run up into a cap, and you're going to sit behind an island, and you're going to hydro the entire cap. Uh, and then pray for your team. That's right. Pray for your team to follow up on what you're doing there and to support you. Without support, the Lo Yang is not very good. Uh, it cannot fight one-on-one -on -one, uh, unless you're really close. If you're really close to somebody, you, you are pretty formidable. But with only four guns and uh, some really slow, uh, low-damage torpedoes, you're going to be hard-pressed to outgun somebody. Uh, it's a good, strong boat for the Hydro and that factor. Probably, probably that one alone. Uh, as for the rest of the line... Uh, Akazuki is going to be really strong. It's going to be set off of the caps, and it's going to it's going to run in conjunction with somebody else. Uh, it can do it on its own, uh, but for the most part, it's a kind of an off put offset. Uh, in the back kind of uh, fighting, uh, but it's really, really strong, and it will slaughter any other DDs. As for the rest of the DDs, any of them, they're all just about the same. Uh, I think the Kagero's, Kagero was played, the Harakaze was played a lot. Uh, the uh, Russian destroyers weren't played so much, but they were effective when they were played. Uh, the Kiev and uh, the Ognevoy, uh, the Kiev out on the edges, keeping people spotted, uh, harassing the battleships, harassing the cruisers, and trying to uh, stay alive. That was that was I saw that a lot. Uh, as for the Bensons, good 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 solid boats. The rest of the destroyers past the Akazuki and the Loyang, it doesn't matter. Take your pick, whichever one you prefer, whichever one you're comfortable in. I would say that would probably be the best one for you. Now let's move on into tier ten. This is the biggest thing. Uh, personally, I don't I don't agree with tier ten being at at rank season, uh, but that's my own opinion. But I am gonna play it because this is my black season. So it's gonna go something like this: four battleships. Uh, the top battleship is going to be the Montana. It's just too good. It's just too tanky. The accuracy is just too good. Uh, as for the next one, I'm going to go with the French Republic. Uh, Republic, the French boat, uh, for the number two uh, battleship this season. Uh, the secondaries are really strong. The uh, the guns are really good, and it's kind of it's kind of accurate. I think I like it. I think it uh, it has the ability to get in and out of situations like the Montana does, uh, and it's not uh, not as uh, lumbering or slow as some of the other battleships that we're going to talk about here coming up. Uh, so after after that, I'm going to go with the uh, the Yamato. Uh, it's a it's a sit back finesse style play with the Yamato now. It does not push very well. Uh, so if you want to sit back and just rain down death and destruction on people, then fine. Uh, after that, 
you're going to go with the Conqueror. The Conqueror's going to sit back and sling HE and just whittle people down. Uh, and then the Germans. The Germans, uh, they're good, strong boats, but I just don't think in rank situations that they really fit uh, all that much. Yes, they are formidable uh, at toward the end of the game, but uh, at the beginning of the game, waiting to get into that range where you can be effective... It's kind of suck. Uh, so there you go. My, my choice is Montana Republic and then the Yamato, I guess, if it's if you want to really want to go to the third one. So let's move off into cruisers now, where the Des Moines and the Minotaur play exactly the same. Uh, the, the Minotaur runs into his smoke and uh, sits there, and he spams over islands. So the Des Moines, the Des Moines, excuse me, uh, runs up in behind an island, and he uses his radar to be effective to control a cap, and he launches over islands. Uh, he could also bow in if he gets into a pinch, and it's very hard to kill these people. Uh, everything else plays exactly the same. The Hindenburg, the Zhao, the Henry, uh, what else? What else is there? They all pretty much play exactly the same. Sit out at max range, put on your HE, so any one of these boats is going to be fine for you if that's the way you want to play. Now, the better of these boats, I'm going to go with number one, Hindenburg. Uh, it's too strong. It's too tanky. Uh, bow in to, uh, to be anywhere up but number one. Number two, Des Moines, uh, just for the amount of radar that it has at 10 kilometers or so, uh, it's pretty strong. And let's just go with the Moskva out there because of the of the ability to get in short range or get in mid range, still pop his radar and have the 20 kilometer range. Uh, so there you go. There's the cruisers. All right. So one of the things that uh, we're going to go into now is the last little bit, the destroyers. Uh, the destroyers are going to be make or break for this season, I believe. Uh, and it's going to go a little something like this. Uh, my my personal pick, the Z-52 is going to be number one on there for its almost almost six-kilometer hydro. I think it's 5.8 and change. Uh, that lasts for a long time. I mean, it, it lasts for a good, a good chunk of time. Let's put it that way. After that... Uh, after that, it doesn't really matter what you play after that. Uh, there's a lot of people I, I'm hearing through the through the stream where twitch.tv slash urban uh, A lot of people that I'm hearing through the stream are saying, oh, I'm going to play the Yu Yang with radar because that's what we did in clan battles. And I'm like, hey, this is a good idea. But the problem with that is is that you had seven people, all right, all in, all in a chat communicating with each other. Uh, okay, I'm popping my radar now. Be ready to shoot. Okay, now everybody shoots at this guy. This is rank season. You are playing by yourself. I don't think this is going to be as effective. Now, you're still going to see it, and it might be just as effective, but it's nowhere near going to be effective as if you had seven people in your channel. So I think this is, this is a good strategy, yes, but I don't think it's going to be very effective in this rank season because you're playing alone. Uh, so for that matter, my number two pick will be the gearing because of just the amount of torpedoes and it has 16 kilometer torpedoes plus it's got a really good smoke and it's got really really strong guns uh the other side number three i will put the yu yang in there as uh as it, it's almost the gearing i mean it's a fletcher it's a little bit more maneuverable and it's got the really good guns and it has some decent smoke and uh you know those uh, deep water torpedoes can uh, ruin somebody's day that's at least expecting it you know something like that as for the rest of them uh kebab Grazavoy, if there's if there's CVs in the queue, Grazavoy is going to be your choice. If not, the kebab is just the kebab is just too strong at 13 and a half kilometers with its range. If you stay at 12, you can really really ruin somebody's day just and keep them uh, keep them spotted the entire game. Uh, if you're solo as a kebab, you you're going to have a hard time uh, winning that game because of the the other destroyer is probably going to go cap everything where you, you're not going to be able to. So you'll have to rely on your team with that way. Uh, as for the Shima, if these Shima changes come down to where its detection goes from 5.9 to 5.59, uh, if those changes hit before the rank season, the Shima is going to be played a lot more. If not, the Shima's you'll see a few of them. But for the most part, they will they'll be ineffective because they're not probably not going to go contest the caps and they're going to be outside just like the kebab is and they're just going to try to drop torpedoes so you could pretty much run rough shot over them with a Z52 or a Gehrig or a Yu Yang. So uh, uh, that's it. That's it. There's nothing else in this rank season that really matters. Oh yeah, carriers. 
All right, so Tier 8, you're going to see Enterprises. You're going to see Shukakus. You're going to see Lexingtons. Uh, very few of them. I don't think that the, the bigger players or the, the better players are going to come back and play Tier 10. I don't know. I right, We'll see when it gets out there. Um, as for Tier 10, Midway, Hack, what can you do? Uh, they're good, strong boats, each each of them. Uh, probably Midway right now is going to be a little bit stronger unless the changes go down to where it drops their planes uh, within the, before the season comes up on the 27th of April. Today is the 19th of April. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the Hakiru probably, if it, because it does have the ability to run air superiority, will probably be the better choice. But I know people out there are going to be like, oh, i got to play the Midway. So whatever. I don't play carriers, so I don't know. Should they be in the Should they be in the season? Sure, why not? Uh, so Grazzle boys, get your Grazzle boys ready. Get your Demonies ready for AA as well. Uh, so either way, that's it. So there it is. Tier eight and tier ten ranked uh, ranked season coming to you soon. Uh, trademark. Uh, the next thing, the little caveat here is just a little blurb at the end of the show. Uh, tier seven Super League. Who really cares? You play whatever you want to. It's going to be a Belfast. It's going to be a Belfast fest. Is what it basically is what it's going to be. So play accordingly. I don't really care. I probably won't play it once I'm done with the ranked and I hit ranked one. I will probably not even look at playing tier seven because I don't care. I love you guys. Thank you very much for hanging out. I am Servental Mike K. Come on over and visit me at twitch.tv slash Servental Mike K. 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time every day. I love you. We'll see you next time. Salutes, my friends. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Daddy needs that YouTube money.